In this video, we will look at launching Mesh Mixer for the first time. We'll see the user interface and basic navigation. When you first launch Mesh Mixer, you are presented with this panel of options. Import will let you bring in common 3D model formats such as STL, OBJ, and PLY. Use this option to bring in a project from another program such as Tinkercad, 123D Design, or 123D Catch. Open will allow you to load a native Mesh Mixer file which has a MIX extension. You will typically save to this format once you import and work on something within Mesh Mixer. Here I have three basic objects. I can start with a bunny, sphere, and plane. This last panel will bring up a list of keyboard shortcuts which are useful to have when you get familiar with Mesh Mixer. For now I click to import the bunny object. The bunny is loaded into my 3D view. Now this bar of tools on the left will be what we explore in this video series and we'll go into depth for each tool bucket in later videos. Also, the menu items at the top will be covered as needed, so good to know they are there. For example, I can also import a bunny through this menu. So let's see how we can move around in our 3D scene. There are two navigation modes you can choose from. If you are familiar with the rest of the 123D apps, then you might want to make sure your navigation mode is set to 123D. Mesh Mixer navigation mode is similar to Maya if you prefer that method. I just have to set this once and it will remember my preference. In 123D navigation mode, I can orbit, zoom, and pan around the object. First, to orbit, right click and drag. This lets you move your viewpoint around the object. To zoom, you can use the scroll wheel up and down to move in and out. Panning allows you to move up and down, left and right in your viewplane. For example, if I wanted to look at the bunny's head, I can pan to make it the center of my view and then zoom and orbit around that. One tip I'll leave you with is a nice quick way to look at something in your 3D scene. You will see some additional navigation options under the view menu. The second option is recenter at cursor, which has a hotkey of C. This will recenter your viewing pivot wherever your cursor is when you press the hotkey C. With this, I can quickly look at different areas of my 3D scene. For example, to quickly inspect the bunny's ears, I can place my cursor over the ear and press C. Notice how the viewpoint jumps to make that part of the ear where my cursor was the center of the screen? Now when I zoom in and out and orbit, I'm looking at that specific point. Very handy when you want to look at or inspect a specific area in your scene. Thank you.